Hi there! Last year, when we were still living in Kyiv, Ukraine, around Christmas time, Leslie asked me a question. Where's your advent calendar? Let's buy one. At that time, <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Uh, Ukraine is an Orthodox country. We celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January, and we don't have the tradition of Christmas countdown. Of course, a lot has changed, and during the last decade, Western culture has been more and more present in Ukraine, so you can find some advent calendars in stores. Somehow, um, I haven't really paid attention to any of this, and, well, the choice wasn't really crazy. <laughs> so, last year, when that conversation took place, we found an advent calendar with chocolates, and officially, it was my first advent calendar. <laughs> But I have got this nagging idea to make one of my own. It was too late then, but it's that time of the year again. Now we are located in France and every store and restaurant is getting dressed for Christmas. Even though it's beautiful, I don't really feel the Christmas spirit yet. So I thought making my own watercolor advent calendar would be the perfect way to uh, boost my Christmas mood. And the surprise for each day in this calendar um, is a watercolor Christmas postcard. You can also paint those cute postcards following my guidance. 24 surprise projects for each day up until Christmas. It is totally beginner friendly and available in Watercolor Painting Academy. Link is in the description to this video. So, this is how I created my own advent calendar. This is an entirely DIY project, and except painting, I don't really know how to create things with my hands. For this project, I had to make 24 envelopes to hide the gifts in, the watercolor postcards, and attach them to something. To make it simple, the concept of this advent calendar was just a bunch of gifts hidden in envelopes hanging on a little branch. And so I embarked into the forest to look for a perfect branch. It should not be too long, otherwise it would look weird. Then I got a set of gift wrapping paper to use for envelopes and also to use leftovers to pack actual Christmas gifts. Efficiency. <laughs> I got uh, four different patterns, so the envelopes are all mixed and diverse. I also needed DIY tools such as scissors, glue, a pencil and a ruler, cute Christmas thread, and a hole puncher to suspend the envelopes layer. I 
I forgot that to hang the whole thing in the end, I needed a little craft rope to attach to the branch. So if you want, you can hang the calendar on the wall, just like a painting. I also got a block of watercolor paper, 300 GSM, thick enough to make up for a sturdy postcard in the end. I cut the sheet in two, as it would be too big to put the whole thing into the envelope. To create envelopes, I had to cut the wrapping paper into squares first. To be able to fit my watercolor paper, the square had to be 21.5 per 21.5 cm. Of course, it depends on what you will put into the envelope, so in your case, it might be bigger or smaller than that. Considering I have never done any of this before, I had to run a test drive and make the first envelope to see if everything just fits together. My envelope technique is super simple. Fold the corners of my square, pressing gently in the middle to see the center of that square. Then fold them properly ensuring the tips of the corners reaching the middle mark. Except the last one. The last corner should reach the opposite side of the envelope. so that I could fold the small stripes on both sides and then the tip creating a little triangle. That's the part I need to glue along with the sides. and then fold. And that's it. I wanted to keep it simple because I had to make 24 of them and believe it or not, it takes time. <laughs> Simplified version took me three hours and two Christmas movies to complete. So if you have an actual job and home duties, you might want to stick to my version too.
When the envelopes were complete, I made holes in each of them. The diameter is small enough just to let the thread go through it. I made four variations of threads of different lengths. That allowed me to organize the envelopes in rows. The first row had the shortest threads and that's where my calendar started. You also might want to put numbers on each envelope to make it clear uh, when they must be opened. Those can be stickers with numbers for each day of December, or you can simply draw the number directly on the envelope. And then I only needed to paint 24 postcards in watercolor and put them inside the envelopes. <laughs> By the way, each postcard is a watercolor lesson and you can paint that too. I recorded every painting as a part of an online course where you can learn watercolor techniques and paint a cute Christmas postcard. As a proper advent calendar, each day of this course is a surprise and we will unlock each painting day by day. So you'll know what you're creating only on the day of the painting. <laughs> it's a fun activity to share with your children and friends as one postcard takes only 20 minutes and is completely beginner friendly. The Watercolor Advent Calendar is already available in Watercolor Painting Academy. Join me on this creative journey and enjoy Christmas mood every day, all the way until Christmas. The link to join into this course is in the description to this video. Happy Holidays! Mm -hmm.